Hi everybody, thanks for joining me in Melinda's Rubber Room. I am Melinda Pierce and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I've decided to come on today just to play around a little bit with making my own um, designer series paper, if you will. So I have a couple of different stamp sets that I'm using. I'm using uh, Beautiful Friendship. This is a gorgeous set that's in the current uh, Stampin' Up! catalog. I am also using Timeless Tulips. And I am using very Versailles. These are all in the current catalog. Okay, and so my idea here is just to kind of make a background paper and then I will cut it up and make some card fronts out of it. So let's let's see how it goes. <clears throat> Let me get you situated here. <clears throat> Okay, so I have just a standard eight and a half by 11 sheet of um, vin very vanilla cardstock. And I have um, a number of different stamps from the stamp sets that I had uh, mentioned. I am also using Sahara Sand, and I'm gonna use that on this um, word type of stamp. It's just kind of going to give it a, um, just kind of a, uh, I don't know what the name is. Um, I'm, I'm doing kind of a collage effect. So this is just kind of going to be a basic background for that collage effect. And what I'm going to do is stamp my um, images kind of in the center of the card here so that when I cut it into quarters, I have some nice um, full sheets that I can do my card fronts with. So you can see that this Sahara sand is just creating a really subtle um, background, which is exactly what I want. I just kind of want to fill in some of the blank space on the card base. <clears throat> this is kind of a fun technique to do when you don't quite have the right color um, designer series paper for what you want to work on. Um, so you can just make it your own. Use whatever colors you want. <clears throat> I saw a pretty card done on Pinterest using these same colors. Um, so that's kind of what inspired me. Pinterest is great that way. Okay, so I'm going to kind of work from the background up. So another one of my background um, images is going to be this spray of leaves. Um, a very gorgeous one. Uh, this one is from Very Versailles. Both of the stamp sets that I, both stamps that I just used are from that same stamp set, Very Versailles. It's a very pretty collage -y type of stamp set. And this is Seaside Spray is the ink that I'm using. I think some of my words are going in opposite directions, but that's okay. I can kind of work work that out when I create my card fronts. This is a very forgiving technique since there's no no real pattern, no real. Uh, reason for doing things a certain way. Just kind of work with it in any way that you want. Okay, so I'm going down with the Timeless Tulips now. So this is going to give a little bit more definition to my card base. And I'm using Highland Heather for this, this tulip. Let's see which way my words are going here. It's kind of hard to tell on that stamp, that background stamp. I don't think it really matters though. Nobody's going to be trying to read the words. <laughs> it's just a creative background. So I think I'm going to go on with another tulip here. 
Again, all I'm doing is trying to fill in some of that blank cardstock. <clears throat> Alrighty, I'm going to move on to my roses and I'm going to use Rich Razzleberry for these. A lot of the stamps that I'm using have a um, special feature on them that they are, uh, the way that they're made, they actually create like this two-tone effect, which is really nice because you don't, it gives it more definition and um, you don't really have to do too much fooling around with it to create a really gorgeous look. Just going to go in with some more little tulips. And then once I cut these, if the, if I feel like it's still missing something, I can always go back in and, and stamp some more images. All right, so I think I'm pretty happy with that. I think I'm just going to do a couple more little roses to fill this in. Don't forget to go off of your paper. That what's uh, that actually helps make it look a little bit more natural than just having everything on the on the center of the paper. All right. So now I'm going to go in with some greenery. <clears throat> it seems like greenery just always brings everything together. Just trying to separate all my stamps here. Make sure everything is covered up so I don't mess it up. Oh, I also have this little, um, it's hard to see it on here, but it's a little floral image. I'm going to go in with Mint Macron for that one. Just kind of gives it some eerie type of feeling on this these flowers. If you've ever done flower arrangements, you know that it's important to get different textures and feelings on your different layers of color on your arrangements. So you can kind of see how everything's coming together and that green just really ties everything together. It's always amazing to me when I'm stamping with flowers how the finishing touch of the green just kind of makes everything work. Regardless of what colors you put in, it just uh, ties everything together so nicely. So I'm going to go in here with some of this greenery down on the bottom here, just in case that's going to show when I cut my cards. Keep in mind, I didn't have any of this planned. I'm just kind of winging it here. So um, I encourage you just to grab your stamps and a piece of blank paper and just play. It's very, um, it's very rewarding. All right, so I'm going to go in with some more defined leaves. This time I'm using pear pizzazz. Again, just kind of layering on that color. <clears throat> All right, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So I am just going to go ahead and cut up my paper now. So you can do all kinds of different cuts on this. I'm just going to do, cut it into uh, four pieces to cover um, card fronts. So I'm just going to go right down the center here at four and a quarter. And then I will do uh, five Go ahead and do five and a half. That's going to be 
card front and then you can cut them down from there. All right, so I can see already that I want some more of this um, Sahara sand um, background just to cover up some more of that very vanilla. Make sure if I get these words in the right position. You really can't read the words, but you can tell that it has a certain right and wrong way. <clears throat> All right, I am pretty happy with that now. All right, so I am just going to pull some um, colors of cardstock. I think I'm going to pull the Rich Razzleberry and, hmm, how about the Sea Foam? I really like that color. So Rich Razzleberry and, it's actually called Seaside Spray. Let's see if I can find that. That's the seaside spray. And rich razzleberry. So I'm going to make my base of the card with the um, seaside spray. Just going to cut that at five and a half and score it at four and a quarter. Okay, so this is the exact same size as the card front that I just cut. So I'm going to want to cut a little bit of a border. So I'm just gonna cut a quarter inch off. I'm gonna do that on the top and on the bottom. And then I'll just center that on the card front, like so. For some reason that doesn't look quite right. So let's, oh, I cut more off on that side. So I am going to do, cut this down to five. So you want your borders to all be the same size. So I'm cutting it down to five and three and three quarters. And then this one, I'm actually, I'll actually do another border around it, another mat. So this will be five and a half, I'm sorry, five and a quarter by four. So now I'll have a nice little border around both of those and have a nice matted card. Let me tape that together. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make the uh, three other cards and add some words to these cards. And I will be done. So here is the mat. Again, these colors are pulled from the inks that I used to make my paper. Would be a lovely little note note card too you don't even have to add any words to it it's very pretty just the way it is so i'm going to go ahead and work on those other three cards and uh, see what i can come up with glad you could join me and i hope you learned something new about stamping your own background paper if you have any questions please leave a comment and i'll be happy to help you out thank you Bye bye